Hey there planetary kin, welcome to the yellow sun wave spell 13 days of vibrant life. The sun radiates its light independently, it's sovereign, it is, um, it is a light to itself. Uh, this is a very important wave spell for the times we're in where we are here with uh, simply for the sake of being born and being of source that we have um, to claim our rights, to claim our personal rights, to make our own choices. <coughs> so 13 days of sovereignty from Sunday the 10th of October to Friday the 22nd and I'll leave you to figure that out. So, so Sunday was um, magnetizing the light, the consciousness of um, yeah, the in deep end dance, the, the deep end dance with self, with one's own source, with one's own light. And this is the purpose of the 13 days. The second day of the cycle was Red Lunar Dragon, which means grounding that light through responding and exploring the needs of the physical reality, the needs of our body, nourishing our bodies, nourishing the physical reality. That's how we ground the light. The third day, which is the day that I'm making this video, is White Electric Wind, guided by the World Bridger and yeah so this day is all about activating that light through communicating through working with the breath through surrendering to to the breath and breathing through whatever experiences whatever emotions um and surrendering to that um that are inhabiting the body it's also a time to communicate with many different worlds to communicate to get a sense of um activating our, our connection with spirit, with the feeling of spirit, to connecting with others and getting a sense of them, to activate the light through communication. Uh, the fourth day of the cycle is called Blue Self-Existing Night. It's guided by the storm and that is the, the mind um, connected to what is in the unconscious realms that needs to be transformed, that may be um, um, not seeing the abundance that have, is available, the abundance that is available for all of us and, and reprogramming the mind out of lack and into abundance. As we become more enlightened, there is a greater abundance. And so it's like transforming the thought forms that are bound in lack. That's the fourth day of the cycle of light. And that is the, the definition of um, of being a light being is is coming from a place of continually transforming um, our awareness of abundance dreaming dreaming big um, the fifth day of the cycle is called the yellow overtone seed guided by the human which is to choose the power of um, living the full potential of our wisdom aiming for that culture that we want to live in where all beings of light are uh, uh, respected, acknowledged and, and, um, and recognized for their free will to choose, to seed whatever reality uh, one chooses to. Yeah. The sixth day of the cycle is called Red Self-Existing Serpent and Serpent is of course the life force and Rhythmic is, is um, the physical plane to organize the physical plane for balance and equality through activating our instinctive survival life force um, to live life intensely um, full of the moment um, forgetting about any bigger picture but just being fully immersed in the moment to organize ourselves for balance by being immersed in the ins in our instinctive moment. That's the sixth day of the cycle, red rhythmic serpent. The seventh day is called white resonant world bridger guided by the mirror. And here we are inspired to, to um, connect with worlds that um, reflect the truth to us and, and, and that we, we can be open to receiving um, uh, the mirror to strip away what is not real to receive um, 
what makes us feel fully relaxed, to be inspired by the full relaxation into the deep depths of our own um, truths and sharing those truths with others that are receptive to that. And then we have Galactic Hand, the eighth day guided by the monkey, which is to trust the knowledge that comes from us and through us and to actually um, push the boundaries of our learning, to learn more. We are always learning, we are always um, uh, gaining more knowledge. Um, and this is the integration of, of being the light being. There is no arrival point with knowledge. There's always a pushing the edge to um, integrate more knowledge, to walk the talk of the knowing that comes from our inner child as well, to, to, to be willing to be open to uh, greater and greater knowing. Um, that's the integration of, of being a sovereign being, of being a light being, of allowing our light to shine brightly by being humble enough to, to um, be able to be open enough to uh, gain greater and greater knowledge. Yeah. The ninth day of the cycle is called the Yellow Solar Star, guided by the seed. This is where we, um, uh, the revelation of what it is to, to be light is to um, aim for harmony, for um, connecting in with a harmonic matrix, with the, the um, natural harmony that is inherent in all of life and choosing to focus our awareness on on that light on that harmony on that higher potential of growing into greater and greater harmony yeah the the tenth day of the cycle is called red planetary moon and it is guided by the red earth which means to perfect that light by going with the flow of synchronicities with going with the flow of listening to the earth and and the many messages she gives us to show us the paths that are leading us to greater and greater purity of our physical realm um, to to listen to the waters to listen for what um, the earth is asking us to flow with as her children. So the 11th day of the sun wave spell of sovereignty is the, the day of liberating that light through connecting with others. So it's called white spectral dog to liberate, to release all the energy of the last 10 days by finding your kin, by connecting with those that you love, by sharing light. Um, by being able to be so um, full of one's own light that the sharing comes easy without losing oneself. So uh, the 11th day of the cycle is called White Spectral uh, Dog. The 12th day of the cycle is called Blue Crystal Monkey, guided by the night, which is simply to trust the abundance, to share, to care. Uh, crystal is the um, highest level of mind, common unity, um, community cooperation by trusting and sharing as a child all that one has to create greater and greater joy, the abundance of joy in community as a full light being. The 13th day of the cycle, which will be that Friday, the 22nd of October, is called the Yellow Cosmic Human, guided by the warrior, which is our capacity to question the very nature of what it is to be in the presence of, of um, the light of being human, of being uh, carrying the wisdom, carrying the, uh, the wisdom of our ancestors, the wisdom that's been handed down um, throughout generations and generations to to quest eye on, to question the nature of the wisdom that we carry. And this is a cosmic human, it operates on the spiritual plane. So it's also those um, ancestors that are in the spirit realms to ask questions, to question, to receive the intelligence of all that we have learned, all that they have learned. Um, all, all guidance that we can receive of the greater intelligence um, of what it is to hold the presence of the new um, uh, new culture 
new culture that we are moving into. And, and that's the last day of the yellow sun wave spell. And then from there we will move into the red skywalker wave spell, 13 days of expansion, awakening um, and um, exploration. So blessed be dear hearts. I hope that this has made some sense to you. I suggest that you either download the app 1320 sync on your iPhones or a dream spell app on any other phone and follow the days and then as you follow for yourself um, these um, these little tidbits will um, hopefully um, help you to attune to the to the natural time to the harmonic matrix um, yeah big thanks to the law of time as the mother mother organization and site lawoftime.org my website is timewaves.org and um, here to serve um, if you'd like to know more um, get in touch with me timewaves.org or lawoftime.org bless